hello student welcome to this video in this video you want to solve the <laughs> problem uh, on the mechanics and the general properties of matter of the year 2019 uh, asked in the iit jam examination right in the previous 10 days we already solved the mathematical methods part of the previous year from 10, uh, 2020 to 2010 and in the day 10 we already covered 2020 mechanics and general properties of matter today who wants to solve this problem of on the mechanics and gpm of the year 2009 so let's start with the question first question says uh, this is the question format you all know and this is the instruction and this is the syllabus of the mechanics and the gpm this is the syllabus you can see this and to go to the question sorry the first question says the mass per unit length of a rod whose length is 2 meter varies with the length as that low equal to 3x kg per meter the moment of inertia of the rod about the perpendicular axis passing through the tip of the end okay so the uh, figure or situation like that this is a rod and we want to find out the uh, moment of inertia about this axis which is tip of the rod okay for that you need to take some piece slow strip within this this is called dx and the length of the strip is taken as x so the mass of this strip will be lambda into dx or rho into dx right so the moment of inertia of that portion that di will be dm into x square so the total moment of inertia i can be written as integration di so this will be integration dm into x square what is the value of dm that is rho dx into x square what is the value of rho rho is given by 3x so this can be written as 3x dx and x square so this is nothing but 3 x square d sorry 3x is cube dx so this can be written as the x to the and the limit of the x will be 0 to maximum length which is 2 meters so this will be 0 to 2 so this is 3 x to the power 4 by 4 the limit will be 0 to 2 so this is 3 by 4 and 2 to the power 4 minus 0 so this is cancel out to do that 2 this is 4 into 2 12 so answer of this question is and option number b is the correct answer of this question go to the next one the amount of work done to increase the speed of an electron from the speed uh, c by 3 to 2 c by 3 or c is given here and the mass of this okay from work energy theorem we can say from work energy theorem from work energy theorem we can say from work energy theorem we can say the kinetic energy is equals to work done right work done so you can say work done is equals to kinetic energy is is in the total energy is mc square minus rest energy m0 c square and you know m equal to m0 by root under 1 minus v square by c square minus m0 c square sorry this is a c square this is the work done so we need to find out velocity from 1 to 2 so velocity v1 to v2 then the work done dw change change in work done will be m0 c square by root under 1 minus v2 square by c square minus m0 c square minus m0 c square by root under 1 minus v1 square by c square minus minus plus m0 c square so if you put the m0 c square as a constant so you will be get 1 minus v2 square by c square minus 1 by root under 1 minus v1 square by c square okay m0 c square is given by 0.511 mev and if you put the value of root under 1 minus v2 is 2 c by 3 so this is 2 by 3 whole square minus 1 by root under v1 is 1 by c so 1 by 3 whole square just put the value you will be get the answer of this question 
23.58 kilo electron volt remember this was mega electron volt so you need to change into kilo electron volt by multiplying thousands so answer of this question is the option number b is the correct answer answer of this question go to the next one if they have okay if the motion of a particle is described by x equal to this y equal to this and z equal to this the trajectory of this motion you can say here x square plus y square is nothing but the 5 square right x square plus y square is 5 square and the z is depend with the time so this is uh, describe a circle and this is uh, increasing the z value with respect to time so you can say the motion of this uh, trajectory of this will be the circle with uh, and if you, this is z axis so the increase with the like that okay this is a helical path helical path so answer of this question will be option number c is the correct answer okay go to the next one a ball of mass m falling freely under the gravity through a viscous medium of the drag force of the drag force is proportional to instantaneous velocity v so the force is proportional to velocity right the neglect in bouncing force of the medium the variation of v as a function of time so you can say velocity is a force is ma and this will be kb so you can say ma a is nothing but dv dt and this is kv so you can write as dv by v is k by m this is k by m dt if we integrate both side dv by v equals to k by m integration dt this is ln v and this is k by m t and the constant will be zero because the limit will be this is zero to v and this is zero to one like that zero to t so this is ln v equals to k m t so v is nothing but exponential k by m okay you can write some constant no problem if you do not put any limit so you can put here some constant okay no problem so the variation is like that this is the variation of the exponential increases function like that so the answer of this question option number d is the correct answer of this question option number d is the correct answer of this question go to the next one consider an object moving in a velocity v in a frame with the rotate with the constant angular velocity omega the coriolis is 4 exerted by the object you know the coriolis is 4 fc is nothing but twice minus twice m omega cross v right so uh, the coriolis is force is uh, the cross product of omega and v so the coriolis is force is perpendicular both omega and v so this is perpendicular both v and omega option number c is the correct answer of this question answer c is the correct answer go to the next one consider a classical particle subjected to an attractive in inverse square force field the total energy of the particle e and the essentiality epsilon are the related as that you know for the positive for attractive inverse square for attractive attractive inverse square sorry inverse square force field force field the essence a, a sorry eccentricity eccentricity epsilon can be written as root under 1 plus 2 e m h square by k square right so for ellipse ellipse this will be actually epsilon less than 1 for less epsilon less than 1 you need to e less than 0 because if e is negative then the possible epsilon will be less than 1 for hyperbola hyperbola you know epsilon will be greater than 1 so e must be greater than 0 for parabola parabola epsilon will be equal to 1 so e must be equal to 0 and circle epsilon will be 0 so e will be if we put epsilon 0 then e will be get 
minus k square by 2m h square here the uh, says the particle will be parabolic parabolic means this is the condition e0 and epsilon 1 e0 and epsilon 1 so answer c is the correct answer of this question okay the c is the correct answer of this question go to the next one if the diameter of a earth increases by 4 percent without changing the mass the length of the day will be okay the length of the day is the nothing but the time period when the earth is rotating about its own axis so t is nothing but 2 pi by omega right and you know from the angular momentum conservation law i omega is conserved or constant so use this so t2 by t1 is nothing but omega 1 by omega 2 and omega 1 by omega 2 is nothing but i2 by i1 so i will be 2 by 5 m2 r2 square and this will be 2 by 5 m1 r1 square and since the mass is the same m1 m2 will be cancelled out so this will be nothing but r2 by r1 whole square r2 is nothing but 4% increase so this will be 104 by 100 r1 by r1 whole square so this is 104 by 100 whole square this is nearly equal to 1.0816 so the t2 will be 1.0816 into t1 is 24 hours just multiply this will give you 25.9584 hour so this can be written as 25.96 hour right so answer of this question is 20 5.96 hour right uh, that is this is all about me and for any question regarding physics you can contact with me by the whatsapp number or telegram channel and the previous solution our link will be given in description box you can see there and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will get the others video which already uploaded for the vector spy, uh, solution of the spider book all are <laughs> uploaded in the channel go to this channel you will get the total video which already upload, uploaded share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you not subscribe up to that who already subscribe this channel or thank you thanks for your support and press the bell icon to get the notification will i will be uploaded the new video Take care. We will meet in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.